Good morning. focused this morning there's healing Share this with your friends, invite your followers. There's healing on the broadcast today. No matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you've been through, healing rain is pouring down today. Share, invite. Starting in 30 seconds. 
Don't just shout out, share. Somebody needs a breakthrough today. Let it rain, God. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, a senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer, the epicenter for church equipping training in South Florida, the founder of the Ignite Prophetic Network. Today's devotion titled, We Are Listening to You. We meaning Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Yes, we are listening. Your heart's cries move our heart. We have not only heard your prayers, petitions, supplications, and intercessions, but also are actively working everything together for your good and the good of those you love. (laughs) Our will is good, so trust us without wavering. We hear your heart, and it moves us. We are with you. Everything is going to be all right, says the Spirit of God. Amen. That's so encouraging. Today's scripture references Psalm 34, verse 17, 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, and Psalm 28, verse 7. And the prayer starter for today, thank you for listening to my heart's cries. Thank you for considering my petitions and acting on my intercession. I trust you. Help me to remain steadfast in trust, even when I don't see the things I'm praying about changing. Father, we thank you that you are the ultimate change agent, and you've called us to be change agents in the earth. We change things through the power of prayer. We change things through our heartfelt cries to heaven, understanding and knowing that you hold our times in your hands. You are good. We give you praise and worship. We honor you, and we glorify your name. We magnify you over every bitter arrow in Jesus' name. We give you praise. (laughs) We honor you with our lips and with our hearts. We honor you with every fiber of our being. We lay before you, crying out to you for deliverance, crying out to you for healing, crying out to you for a better tomorrow. For our latter indeed shall be greater than our past. Your portion for us is greater than what we see with our eyes. God, open that realm of the spirit where we can see beyond in Jesus' name. God, help us to stop looking at what the enemy he wants us to see like the serpent who snuck into the garden and tricked, fooled, seduced Eve into looking into a dimension illegally, hoping there was something there that would make a better life that she was missing out on that she could receive through the instruction of the evil one. God, help us to stop listening to the instructions of the evil one, the seducing promises of the evil one. God, would you help us to stop falling into the temptation of the evil evil one when you've promised us yes and amen every promise yes and amen you've given us everything pertaining to life and godliness we are co-heirs with Christ you've made us royalty in your everlasting kingdom God would you help us today to shun the seduction of the enemy to shun the promises from the wicked one because they're empty promises they're false promises they're promises that come with strings that tie us to darkness that put us in bondage. Oh God, would you help us to see rightly? Open our eyes, God, that we can really see and discern the difference between good and evil, the difference between right and wrong, that we might separate the profane from the holy. God, let us not fall into the profanity of the enemy, to the trap of the wicked one, because we're seeking and longing for something more than what we have. You are the God who gives us all things 
things good. You are the God who makes all things new. You are the God that makes the impossible possible. We cry out to you today, God, for you are the eternal one. You are the everlasting God. You told Abraham, I am God Almighty, the Almighty God. You are mightier than the enemy of our soul. You are mightier than our flesh. Lord, your spirit wars against our flesh. Our flesh wars against our your spirit. But God, we surrender today afresh and anew. We surrender. We surrender. We surrender all. Lord, we want to go deeper. We want to go higher. We want to ascend. We want to go to places we've never been before. Not in, in, in not in, in, with regard to the natural but with regard to your spirit we want to find that hidden treasure we want to find that secret place we want to find that mysterious location in you that few press in hard enough to go to but it's available it's available I just saw a door open in the spirit I said a portal has just opened I don't know who wants to go with me I don't want to, I don't know who wants to go to the holy hill to the secret place I don't want to I don't I, I, I don't know who wants to go to the see the deeper things of God oh God would you help us to go through this door it's a door marked mysteries mysteries of the kingdom I see the handwriting on the door it's been inscribed by the finger of God and it says mysteries of the kingdom who wants to enter in through the door to the mysteries to the door of revelation this is a month of the ancient this month the first month of the year it's the month of ancient things it is no surprise that the Lord spoke to me in the first month of the year September that first month of the year about the ancient angels of revelation the Lord is speaking to me about ancient prophecies spoken over your life did you know that the Lord spoke to Abraham about things that were going to happen in his family line 400 years later oh shut up Joseph walked in the prophecy that God gave to Abraham you may be walking even now in an ancient prophecy that God spoke to one of your descendants it's time to walk through the door marked mysteries of the kingdom these are mysteries to you they're mysteries to me there are things that we do not know and that we have not seen but the Lord is opening our eyes today walk through the portal walk through the door marked mysteries press past your flesh get into the spirit seek his face walk through the door there are things the Lord wants to unveil to us there are things the Lord wants to take the cover off there are things from ancient times that the Lord wants to make known to us things in our family line for the better and for the worse I just see ancient bondages ancient iniquities ancient things that have been seated in your family line for better or worse ancient blessings that were spoken over you ancient things that are beginning to come alive as you walk through this door marked mysteries of the kingdom there are things that are too deep to bear until you prepare your heart for the greater until you prepare your heart and press down your flesh Paul said this oh I just want to know 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 Christ and the deep things of God and the fellowship of his sufferings that I might be conformed into his image even unto death we've got to take on this mindset the same mindset that was in Christ if we want to see the mysteries if we want to walk in the ancient blessings if we want to see deliverance from the ancient bondages I'm telling you there's a key here today I saw a portal open who will walk through with me to explore the things of the ancient world ancient mysteries coming alive ancient things ancient truths ancient revelations God would you help us today to say yes to your heart Jesus 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 we want you more than anything you are the ancient God you are the everlasting God you are the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end you supersede time oh God would you help us Lord to travel to the place you want to take us in the spirit just like Philip you transported him from one place to another God we're asking you in the name of Jesus to transport us 
from one place to another Lord help us to redeem the time help us to understand and know what your will is in this hour that we might not miss it God in this year of new beginnings and serpent warfare rising God let us not be deceived let us not be deceived like Eve was deceived in the garden because she wanted something that she thought God wasn't going to give her and it took all of mankind off track but thank God for this for the last Adam Jesus Christ who set the course aright so God help us not to make the same mistake that Eve and Adam made in the garden being tempted being allured being seduced being tricked being beguiled to open our eyes in a way that you've never called them to be open to open our eyes to the realm of darkness to open our eyes to those things that are not suitable for our sight help us to stay focused on you God help us to stay focused on you God help us to stay focused God primarily on you I see new tongues being released new spiritual languages being released new ideas being released as you walk through this portal the door marked mysteries of the kingdom I said there's witty inventions behind the door there's creativity behind the door there's life-changing revelation behind the door there's deeper understandings of Christ in you the hope of glory beyond the door who will go beyond the door with me who will go beyond the veil with me who will enter in to the secret things of God that we might proclaim to a generation that our God is good from everlasting to everlasting in the name of Jesus we give you praise Jesus 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 gee I see doves flying I see doves flying round and about I see doves flying symbols of the Holy Spirit I see doves being released all around and about you the presence of the Lord is about to un envelop you the presence of the Lord is about to overtake you all those who said yes all those who said I surrender all those who are willing to walk through the door marked mysteries of the kingdom I see the presence of God all around and about you I see evil birds I see vultures trying to attack you you but the dove the Holy Spirit the presence of God is surrounding you like a force field you're just uh, I just see all of these doves just just flying one after another after another into your presence it's the presence of God enveloping you as you surrender Lord 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 would you help us today to discern our next step in this year of new beginnings in this year of serpent warfare God help us discern which way to move which way to go hidden knowledge hidden knowledge I just heard the Lord say he's releasing hidden knowledge it's behind that door it's behind that door it's behind the door marked mysteries of the kingdom it's behind the door it's behind the door it's hidden knowledge there are there's hidden knowledge for inventions that will uh, impact the world behind that door oh, oh others have been beyond that door others have been through that door God is inviting us to a place we've never been before you got to get out of your mind you've got to get out of your thoughts out of your mind out of your own reasoning I feel someone's reasoning against this get off my broadcast if you can't stay in faith don't pollute this atmosphere 
Lord, help us. Help us, Lord, to believe you. Help us, Lord, to rise up in faith and say yes to the invitation. Lord, help us, Lord, to be willing to lay aside uh, the flesh, uh, the lies of the enemy, the wrong perceptions of our past, the, the thoughts that we have been uh, allowing to, 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 to overshadow your word in our lives, the teachings from our childhood, uh, the, the seeds the enemy planted. In, Lord, help us. We give you praise, God. We give you praise. We give you praise. We praise your holy name, for there is no other like you. You are the God of all mysteries. You have the key to the mysteries of your kingdom. You created these mysteries and veiled them until the appointed time. Hmm. The mysteries of Christ. The Bible speaks of the mysteries of Christ. His unsearchable riches. Lord, give us the grace to search them out, to find that next key, that next nugget of gold that will bring us into a place that only you can take us and help us to maintain the position in which you, in, in which you place us. Paul spoke of the mysteries of Christ. Ah, shokotom brastarabashik. We give you praise, God. 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 Help us to stay in line with your word. Plumb line our lives against your word. Lord, if we are straying to the right or to the left, if we have fallen into deception or ambition or any such thing, God, bring us back in line. Let the conviction of your spirit fall upon us to set us straight for your glory in Jesus name the Lord spoke to me this morning about arrows in the heart arrows in the heart I said what are you speaking about Lord he's he was speaking about those who needed freedom from arrows in the heart I said what are you talking about Lord I began to look up scriptures I said what are you talking about Lord show me this in the Bible what are you speaking of what are these arrows in the heart we know that the enemy of uh, fires a uh, fiery darts against us but that's just a st- what is it Lord I said what is it 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 and I began to look up scriptures I'm going to read you a couple and we're going to pray through these. Psalm 91 verse 5 You will not be afraid of the terror by night or the arrow that flies by day. The enemy has terrorized some of you at night with arrows that hit you in the day. There's a particular scripture I'm looking for that really unlocks this. Here it is right here. Psalm 64, verse 3. This is our key verse. There's lots of scriptures about arrows. And many times, see, the Lord has his own arrows that he shoots forth on our behalf. We're going to ask him to do that in just a moment. But arrows in the heart. Here's what the Lord showed me. Psalm 64, verse 3. Psalm 64, verse 3. Not 61, 4. 61, I'm sorry, 64, verse 3. The Bible speaks of those who have sharpened their tongue like a sword. They aimed their bitter speech as their arrow. They aimed their bitter speech as their arrow. They aimed their bitter speech as an arrow. In Jeremiah 9 verse 8, their tongue is a deadly arrow. It speaks deceit. With his mouth one speaks peace to his neighbor, but inwardly he sets an ambush for him. They, they aimed bitter speech as their arrow. And the Lord showed me that many have been the, the, the target of bitter speech. Hear me. We've got to deal with this before the end of this broadcast. 
that many had been the, the, the target of bitter speech, curses, judgments, uh, 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 um, judging your heart, the motives of your heart, bitter speech. And the Bible speaks of, of, of words that, that enter the, the innermost being and that wound the spirit, that wound your heart. And the Lord wants to deal with the arrows in the heart today. The Lord wants to deal with the arrows in the heart today. Many of you have been persecuted by people you love, rejected by people you looked up to, cast out by a circle of friends who you thought would always stand with you. You've been ostracized, many of you, by your peers. And these were arrows in your heart. There were arrows in your heart. And the Lord wants to pull. Many times in prayer lines, uh, you, know, you see people pulling arrows out of people's back. It's the arrows of betrayal. This is a different kind of arrow. This is the arrow of bitter words targeted against you that made you question even who you are, that made you question some of you, even your self-worth, that made you question if you could ever trust anybody again. These are bitter words that became arrows that got stuck in your heart. God wants to pull these arrows out of your heart today. If this is you, if it's not you, just pray in agreement with everybody else. Don't hang up the broadcast because this is not you. We stand together. Hashtag we stand together. Every day there's breakthroughs on this broadcast and we stand together. We pray for the others on the broadcast knowing that tomorrow might be our day of breakthrough. Or yesterday was and we've got the strength to stand and withstand at a new level. This is not the time to shout out where you're dialing in from. This is the time to get into agreement. So, Father, I lift up every heart represented on this broadcast that has been pierced by an arrow of bitter speech. I lift up every heart represented on this broadcast that has been maligned, misjudged, targeted for destruction by the arrows of the enemy. I lift up every heart represented on this broadcast, God, that has been stung by the arrow of rejection, that has been wounded by the arrow of persecution. God, I lift up these hearts to you even now, and I ask you, Lord, to pour your healing balm of Gilead upon them. Lord, heal hearts today. God, 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 right now, Lord, I'm asking you right now, just pull out these arrows from their hearts and apply the patch of your love. I see that, Lord. Lord says many of you, 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 you've had bleeding hearts. And many of you have, have, have been wearing your heart on your sleeve, is, is, is how the world would say it. You've, you, you, you've just been bleeding all over everybody. You've just been so hurt and so wounded and so desperate for a word of wisdom or a word of encouragement that you just don't stop talking about the wound. And the Lord is saying, stop talking to everybody else about it and start talking to me about it. Because I am your healer, and I am your justifier, I am your redeemer, I am your vindicator. Father, help us target our pain and cast it towards your throne. Lord, you, you tell us to cast our cares upon you, but, but, but you already bore all of our pain as well, so we can cast our pain upon you too. We can cast the pain of neglect and the pain of rejection, the pain of being ostracized and persecuted, the pain of our hearts being misjudged, our motives being judged wrongly, being misunderstood. Someone on here, you've just been so misunderstood. So misunderstood. People have come against you and you're like, I was just trying to help. I was, I was just trying to help. And it's this pattern with you. And I break that pattern in Jesus' name. Father, we move these arrows from the hearts of the people who the enemy has wounded with bitter words that have gone into their innermost being. Lord, heal now. Bring healing. Bring closure. I hear that, Lord. The Lord is saying, I will heal to the degree that you will forgive. And if you'll forgive completely, you'll be healed completely. Even right now, says the Lord, I'll do a miracle in your heart. He says, I'll do a miracle in your heart. If you forgive totally right now, I'll, I'll totally heal you. But you'll, 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 you will walk 
through this healing to the degree that you'll forgive. So if you forgive, little by little, you'll be healed, little by little. My healing power, says the Lord, will, will, will wash over your heart to the degree that you release the bitterness of the enemy's arrow that struck you, my God. My God. My God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this moment of healing. We thank you, Lord, for this moment, this holy moment, this sacred moment where you're going in and doing what only you can do. You're pulling out these arrows. You're stitching up our hearts with peace and love, joy. We thank you, Lord. We choose to forgive completely, holding nothing back because you forgave us completely, holding nothing back. The Lord is saying to someone, remember the joy of your salvation. When I forgave you completely, step back into that joy. I was up at 3 o'clock this morning and just looking back over the last 20 years of my life and examining my heart, you know, and asking the Lord, how did I get even into this, you know? And I remember that moment that I was saved and how I put my effort so strongly into the kingdom from that very moment, began consuming the word of God, trying to renew my mind, understanding only a, tiny glimpse of what the Lord had in store for me. Beloved, there's so much more for you, more than you could more you can ever comprehend. I can't even get the words out. There's so much more for you. Your calling, it's secure, but your calling unfolds into stages. As you're faithful to do this, you get promoted to the next thing. Your calling is progressive. I remember 18, I don't know, 15, 16 years ago, the Lord started sending me to Nicaragua, and it was so hard. I didn't like it. I, I hated it. I liked the idea of going to the nations, to Nicaragua. I liked the idea of going, but it was, it was always so hard. It wore me out. It was so much witchcraft. I, it was not fun. I didn't enjoy a minute of it. Well, that's not true. I did enjoy parts of it, but it was... It was always a trial for me as a very, very, very young Christian stepping into a witchcraft-laden nation. I remember one day it was time to go back again the second year after the first year. The second year it was time to go back, and I didn't want to go. And I told the Lord, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. Last year it was, it was just too hard. I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for this part of my calling. I'm not ready. And that's how many of you feel with where you are in your life. I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. I can't do this. It's too hard. Beloved, it's not too hard. And I was brushing my teeth and I was talking to the Lord and he said, I've called you to go to many nations. I'm going to send you into many nations. And I got excited. I said, yay, I'm so happy. That's awesome. And he said, but I'm starting with Nicaragua. And my countenance sank because I didn't want to go. But I went out of obedience. I was willing and obedient. And today I'm eating the good of the land. God is fulfilling his promise to me that he made almost 20 years ago to send me into many nations. To do kingdom work. Your calling is progressive, beloved. It's progressive. If you're faithful over a little, God will make you ruler over much. Whatever it is you're called to do, whether it's raise a family or build a business or start churches, whatever it is, don't get ahead of God and don't allow these bitter arrows in your heart to stay there today because it hinders and it thwarts your calling. I could have stayed bitter. I could have stayed down and out. I could have lost my mind 20 years ago when the trials I've been through, I could have given up at any moment. But the call of God and the Spirit of God sustained me. Let that happen for you. Let that happen for you. Let, let, let that be your testimony. I'm still here. I didn't give up. I didn't allow these bitter arrows of the enemy to stay in my heart. I allowed on this day for the Lord to come in 
And as I forgave, remove the arrows and bring total healing to me so that I could step into the next stage of my journey. Let this be the day that you look back on and remember having said that. Because he's worth it. Beloved, you're, there's always going to be hurts and wounds along the way. I've been doing this for 20 years. There's always going to be hurts and wounds along. P people are always going to betray you. They're always going to persecute you. In this world, you will have tribulation, Jesus said, but be of good cheer. <laughs> I have overcome the world. And he gave us his peace. So be at peace with yourself. Be at peace with God. Be at peace with your fellow man as far as it depends on you. Forgive. And you'll walk in a consistent measure of healing. I'm convinced many sicknesses and diseases originate from the bitter root of unforgiveness. So we release it all to you now, God, once and for all. And we say, Lord, help us not to go back to that bitter place. Remembering when that arrow pierced our heart, the pain of it. But help us, Lord, to walk free today to pass over in the year of new beginnings, new birthings. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I decided to start getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning instead of 4 o'clock in the morning so I would have more time to spend with the Lord. And I suggest to some of you in this season that maybe 3 o'clock is too early for you, but my California followers, they're up at 3, praise God. But do something. Do something more. Do something to go beyond what you've done in the past season. You want something more than what you have. It doesn't come to the spiritual procrastinators or the spiritually apathetic. It comes to those who press. Look, even if you just have to sit in the presence of God and you just, even if you're bored out of your mind, just sit there. Read. Study. Pray. Write. Journal. Just dedicate a certain block of time to the Lord and watch and see what he'll do. Hallelujah. Amen. I went over in my prayer today, but you know what? There are some powerful things released. It's not often that I get completely out of breath because I'm praying so hard. It's a different level of prayer when I get, when I get completely out of breath. I haven't done that in a while, especially with this foot. I forgot all about my foot. It was like I was in another dimension, a dimension of glory, just a, an atmospheric bubble where I was not even aware of what I was praying. So some of you need to go back, especially those who didn't come in on time. Maybe you woke up late. You need to go back and listen to some of this. There's an invitation. I saw a door, a portal. And marked on it was the mysteries of the kingdom. So God is making an invitation. We're in a time of ancient, uh, ancient revelation, ancient prom. I'm telling you, there's ancient promises, prophetic words that have been spoken over your life. You need to ask the Lord what those are. <laughs> you need to ask the Lord what those are. There are things that were spoken over your family line. There are also things that are bad that may have been spoken over your family, ancient things could be the root of your problems or it could be setting up. Listen, I got to go back and listen to it myself because there I'm convinced there's a key there even, you know, for me, for you, for all of us. Go back and listen again. Amen. Ancient things. Hallelujah. God is good. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this media ministry today. This is the, one of the media outreach, really a prayer outreach, but I use media uh, to get into the nations. Can you imagine I don't go to any nation where there's not people who I find that listen to my prayer calls. I was just in Hong Kong. I was just in Taiwan. Uh, people know of my prayer calls all over the world because of the power of media. And I'm desperately in need of help. Employees who know how to navigate the media world. I, my problem is I've done this all my life. Media was the mountain that the Lord put me in. And I'm, I'm skilled at it. And I'm anointed for it. And it's hard to find other people who work on that level with the same passion for the kingdom when it's not just about money, when it's about spreading the message. 
It's not just a job. I want to hire somebody where it's, it's not just a job. I want to hire somebody that has a passion to see deliverance and salvations and the nations equipping. Anyway, I digress. I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this media ministry today. You can do that at jenniferleclair.org slash give. We have to get out of the mindset of I'm blessed and that's good. We have to get into the mindset of I want to see others, many of whom I'll never meet until the other side of eternity. I want to see them blessed. I want to see them set free. I want to I want to sow into a work that is reaching people I may never meet until the sweet by and by, but people who need the truth that is being disseminated through these broadcasts. Help me to do that, would you please? JenniferLeclair.org slash give. All the different ways to pay are there. You can use the cash app, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. You can use uh, PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give, 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. You can use the P.O. box if you want to mail a check, a money order, a CD, a Starbucks card, a letter. Look at that, Prophet Vanessa. Someone from Hong Kong just joined the Ignite Network. How about that? Somebody from Hong Kong. I was just in Hong Kong. You know what that means? That means that whatever it was that the Lord did through me in Hong Kong was impactful enough to at least one person (laughs) I know we touched many by the grace of God, but it was so impactful to at least one person that they sought me out because I didn't mention or pitch or talk about all my different ministries like that. I didn't solicit people to join my network. But they were so touched by whatever it was the Lord did that they sought me out and joined the Ignite Prophetic Network. Isn't that amazing? We also had a divine connection in Hong Kong with a woman who just moved back the week before from 20 years living in Boston. And the Lord said, go back now because there's revival coming to Hong Kong. So she came back, sold everything she had. She sold everything she had and came back and she had just found out about my conference there. And she came and for two days she tried to get through to me. It was hard. And, uh, and she finally got through to me. She had a great vision and I can't get into it now. Like a, like a spiritual vision, like a Lord showed her something, and she shared it with me, and I said, wow, this is something. And there's something to do there in Hong Kong, but I don't know all the pieces and parts yet, but I see now that Hong Kongers are starting to contact me, either via Facebook, they're sending me messages. So we have a great opportunity to, to bring these broadcasts, to bring the equipping, the training, to bring the gospel to Asia. There's a great revival that's going to take place there. So when you sow into this ministry, you're sowing into these sorts of ventures. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Hallelujah. Please consider sowing a generous seed today. I'm sort of feeling very low-key right now at the I just want to go back into the presence of the Lord. I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you for the anointing of the Spirit of God. I thank you, Lord, that you're good, that you make invitations to us. And when we say yes, you take us to places we could never even imagine. So we give you praise and honor and glory for that. We ask you, God, in Jesus' name, to multiply this offering, multiply this seed back to the sower that we might be more effective in reaching the world with your gospel and raising up disciples and making disciples of nations for your glory in Jesus name Hong Kong is one of the countries you deal with at work yeah hallelujah it really is amazing and I'm blessed and I was overwhelmed this morning sitting before the Lord saying why me why me why do I get the blessing of 
although it's very difficult many times. Why do I get the blessing of going to all these nations and sharing the word of God? Building apostolic centers in Asia and launching houses of prayer in different parts. Of Why? And Lord, every time I ask him that, you know what he says every time? He says, because you're willing. I'm telling you, if you'll get willing, begin to obey the instructions he gives you for your life, whether that's getting up at 3 a.m., staying up at midnight, sowing large. I've sowed so many large seeds. I was, I was obedient. That's all I've got going for me is I refuse to give up. I'm not perfect, but I'm willing. And if you'll be willing, it goes a long way. Your willingness goes a long way because you're willing, you will be obedient. When you're really willing to do whatever the Lord calls, when you're really willing, when you're really willing, that will bring you into a grace of obedience. So set your heart to be willing. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to remind you of a couple things. I feel like I'm off in outer space somewhere. I'm off in the glory. <laughs> I'll be ministering at the Awakening House of Prayer on Sunday. We're meeting in the Morrison Hotel. We'll move into our new facility on the 29th. We're launching the Awakening House of Prayer in Atlanta on next Tuesday. I'll be on Atlanta Live on September 17th uh, talking about the House of Prayer. And I will be launching the House of Prayer. It's in Buckhead. Please go register for that. The address is there on the registration page. JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com Surging against spiritual witchcraft. I see about 300 people have signed up for that. I imagine most of you think it's going to stream online, and it's not. If you want to watch it online, you're going to have to go to ahop.tv. I need to send out an email on that today because that is going to be on a week from Friday. But this is not an online event like on Facebook. This is a special event on ahop.tv. And, and really, we're coming into a season where the witchcraft is so heavy and people get discouraged, want to quit. They get attacked in their bodies. We want to equip you and we want to pray for you. So if you're in South Florida, we will be holding this event at our temporary location at the Morrison Hotel in Dania Beach. And we need to update the address on that as well. I guess I'll do that this morning. Uh, Pastor Sierra, if you're listening... Go update that address on the surging against spiritual warfare. Go update the address to the Morrison Hotel so people don't get confused. Apparently, somebody showed up somewhere wrong because of an old address. We never haven't known where we're going to be from week to week, so Eventbrite forces you to put an address, so it was uh, nothing we could do about that. The uh, special broadcast I'm doing, 5779 New Births and Serpent Warfare Rising, I've written a book on this, which will be out in a couple of days. I'll be doing a broadcast on it as well. Can't go over the whole book, but I'm going to go over some of the key highlights there. That's on Eventbrite. That's an online event. I have not even put that on Facebook. Supernatural Debt Cancellation Service. Listen, if you are in South Florida, this is going to be on a Saturday, a Saturday night. What better thing to do than instead of going out spending your money at the movies, come to South Florida on a Saturday night. Supernatural Debt Cancellation Service. If you're not in South Florida, go to ahop.tv. Please don't miss out on this. I'm telling you, we're going to see debts canceled. We always do. Miraculously. There's other stuff there. JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com. The Ascend 2K18 Prophetic Conference in Tampa. This is my conference. I'm hosting it. James Gall will be with me. Jonathan Ferguson will be with me. It's going to be off the charge. We have a night member, Suzanne, from Denmark who is coming, flying over. It's going to be off the chart. Please go register for that if you can come. Fly to Tampa. Secure your room. We've got to get a block of rooms, Prophet Vanessa, at a lower price. We've got to try to get that block. We need to know who's coming from out of town. It's going to be off the charts. There's such a synergy. Larry Sparks from Destiny Image Publishers contacted me. He said, this is amazing. He said, if, I was, if I'm in Tampa, if I'm in Florida that week, I'm going to come. And he goes, but Destiny Image is going to promote this conference. Prophet Vanessa, I need to know if they have a streaming capability, ASAP, so I can put that component in place. I mean, I, I need to know that like now. And if I need to talk to the, to the lady there today, I can do that later on this afternoon. I do... I am doing a 4 o'clock Facebook Live with Scott Neri on this Hurricane Florence. Is it the judgment of God? 
dear ones, if you want to know more about that conference in Tampa, please go to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. If I gave you every address and every detail of everything I'm doing, we'd be on the phone all day. That's why I put it in one convenient place for you, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. All the, all, the, all the details are there, okay? Amen. God is good. Go sign up. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Listen, I'll be back with you later on today. Looking at a 10 a.m. I've got to go do something this morning, but I'm hoping to still do my 10 a.m. Definitely be on at 4 p.m. And then tomorrow is my glory day. Saturday is my glory day. It's my first day where I didn't have to work since I got home. You land after being gone for 16 days and How many of you know everybody in the world needs something from you and you want to make sure you settle everything? And Saturday is my glory day. So bless you. Have a great day. Thank you, Pam Baker. Love you. Bye.